There was no way to predict this. I uh, just want to bring to everyone's attention Tom Bosser, who used to be in the National Security Council under President Trump and was forced out. Uh, well, two, almost three years ago, in July of 2017, he was interviewed at the Aspen Security Conference. I was there by uh, David Sanger, our friend and colleague from the New York Times. And this is what Tom Bossert had to say about what they were then trying to do. At this point, we need to look clear-eyed at the fact that we might have a devastating pandemic influenza or an intentional anthrax attack. The weakest country among us with the least preventative care problems or the least preventative care capabilities are going to be the patient zero outbreak source. And they're going to end up killing and infecting the world. He was, of course, forced out. That whole operation uh, was downsized dramatically. Uh, there, in fact, was an Obama administration National Security Council tabletop exercise January 13th, 2017, for the incoming NSC and the pandemic the response to the Ebola and the pandemic preparations were one of the things that was exercised for the incoming team. That's absolutely right. I think for all of us who worked on Ebola during the Obama administration, we came out of that experience somewhat, uh, you know, I think calmly terrified, if I can put it that way, about the prospects of how vulnerable we in the world were to future pandemic events. And you hear that echoed in Tom Bossard's comments there. Uh, and that was why we tried to put a lot of infrastructure in place before we left. Uh, the, the, administration, the Obama administration set up the pandemic uh, team at the White House. We put together uh, a whole guidebook on uh, how future administrations should approach pandemic response. That was reported in Politico today, and I and my team had contributed to that, the development of that tool. And of course, as you mentioned, the tabletop exercise. So there were multiple efforts to both leave infrastructure in place to deal with this kind of risk and to warn the incoming administration to take it seriously. We should do a shout out to Susan Rice and her whole team for what they at least tried to get the incoming team to do. Jeremy Kanondek, thank you very much. Thanks for joining us again today. And